Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to stage Director of Corporate Affairs, Telefonica Europe, Richard Poston. The good news is we're running on time. In fact, we're running ahead of time. And I know it's Friday afternoon, and I know I'm the only thing between you and whatever you're going to do. Um, and that could be the football or anything else. So first of all, hola, guten tag, buongiorno, salut, and hello. My name is Richard. And just as a way of a little bit of background, about eight months ago, following the success of Campus Party in 2012 in Berlin, which I'm sure some of you were at, I was the one that had the idea that we'll have this amazing event and we'll bring it to London and we'll do it at the O2 and it'll be bigger and it'll be better and we'll have a marketplace for careers fair and we'll have a public policy summit and we'll have campus party uh, with all of the content. It's very easy to have ideas. The great news for me is I could then rely on a superb team to turn that vision into reality. We intended and started out with the intention of having the largest or one of the largest technical festivals uh, for campus heroes in Europe in the world's leading entertainment venue, which you've been enjoying this week. With the idea of making sure that we wanted you guys to come together, to learn, to connect, to create, but most importantly, to have fun. So here we are on Friday afternoon. Wow, a week goes fast. It's been pretty action-packed um, with loads of content, loads of things happening. So I suppose the one question I would ask is, did you have fun? <laughs> oh, good. It's just as well. It's always worrying when you ask a question, um, just in case what the answer is. So we'll go on to, to the, the rest of the speech then, which is great, well, the job's been done. I mean, from my point of view, and I'm not a millennial going back, and you know, I'm not a geek, and I should be, but I have to say, from a personal point of view, wandering around between the soccer domes, all of the partying that happens in between there and here, what happens in the arena, what's happened in the live quarter, it's been a, an amazing experience. And I think, for from, from me, it's been reassuring to see so much young talent come together, share ideas and experiences. It has to make you wonder what, you know, how many conversations have taken part or place this week over a computer, early in the morning probably not, late at night more likely, um, where you've connected, where you've brainstormed ideas and whether those are going to be the seeds of some really exciting new startup businesses of the future. And who knows? You know, that could be the next Google, that could be the next Facebook, Airbnb, or some of the other great companies we've heard from this week. And I'm sure in time that will be the case and time will tell. I'm reminded of the um, presentation some of you might have seen from one of the keynote speakers uh, David Rowan, who's the editor of Wired, who is here on Wednesday evening, um, who gave a great speech. And in that, something that particularly struck me was when he was talking about Tony Shea and Zappos in, in Las Vegas, who's moving his headquarters from you know, uh, the strip, if you like, or the smart part of Las Vegas into um, the downtown area, which is uh, pretty run down. And he showed a slide of, of, of what the new headquarters would look like, which was pretty cool. And he said, uh, just looking at my notes here, Tony Shea's words were, in this new world, to create the right uh, atmosphere, the right conditions to thrive, you need to provide three things. The opportunity for collision, co-learning, and connectedness. And I'm sure that's happened here this week too. So I hope many of you have uh, had safe collisions. Sadly, all things must come to an end, and I was asked to come up here and close the inspiring Campus Party Europe in London 2013. But before I do that, um, I just wanted to share with you 
some things that you might not know that have gone on this week. And just before I do that, um, some of you will have taken part in a survey that was going on, and I can give you a sneak preview of the results of the survey. Uh, and I'm delighted to say, from our point of view, that 89% of you have been inspired by your time at Campus Party. 78% of you answered that you'd had cool new ideas, which is brilliant. And 75% of you have made more than five contacts that you intend to stay in contact with long time, which is great. Uh, it shows the, the power of bringing people together, sharing ideas, sharing experiences. To do that, what did it take? Well, it took 52 coaches to bring you all here from 28 cities across six countries in Europe. So thank you. I know the Lithuanians were the first to arrive um, last Monday after 36 hours. So thank you for tolerating some very long coach trips. Um, during the week, I'm delighted to say that we've had close to 10,000 people in and out of Campus Party, which is great. Um, not just campus heroes, media, politicians, public policy, so that's great. There are, and it's a really impressive site, actually. A lot of you have been living it, but, but if you just go and view it, it's a really impressive site. There are 1,724 tents in the Soccer Dome, where f over 3,000 of you have been sleeping. Uh, it has a slight aroma in the evenings. But um, having said that, I mean, it's quite glorified camping. It's almost glamping. You're undercover. Uh, and I uh, was uh, reliably uh, informed that it was great to have toilet, shower, and hot water facilities. And it's great that we celebrated 39 nationalities here at Campus Party over the week. To do all of that, to make that happen, we've had 140 volunteers um, angels and other volunteers, and thank you all the volunteers out here for helping it make it run smoothly. <laughs> and I'm pleased to say the age range has been the oldest Campus Zero was 73, which gives me hope that there's a chance yet for me. Uh, the youngest was 14. Uh, and the, uh, the young girl who came up, uh, who'd won all of the coding classes, was quite inspirational. Um, and just in case you're running a competition as to the, the longest journey for the Campus Zeros to get here, well, it was from Japan, um, and that's over 10,000 kilometers. You're a hard audience to please. So we put a lot of effort into building um, a network uh, that hopefully uh, was of the capacity, speed, and size that you wanted. That involved us laying a three and a half kilometers of Cat5 cabling, as well as reinforcing the O2 networks on 2G, 3G, and 4G to give you, hopefully, a well-connected experience. And here's another statistic for you. The busiest time on the fixed network was on Wednesday this week at 6 p.m. in the evening when the, uh, we saw the highest peak in internet traffic at 2.9 gigabits of data being downloaded per second. Um, and in just one week, over 4,500 of you have been busy on social media and posted 20,000 mentions, which means we've been trending on Twitter all week. So uh, um, in fact, I was traveling back. that I did escape one night um, and left here at about half past 11 was on the tube um, and still stupidly wearing campus party tags in London. And there was this um, young, interestingly dressed um, group of people that came up to me. And I thought, oh. Um, and they said, oh, you've been to campus party. And I said, yeah. They said, was it good? I said, yeah, no, it's brilliant. You should go. And they said, oh, no, no, we know about it. We're going to go and buy a day ticket. It's all over Twitter. So that's great news. We had workshops next door. We ran 64 hours of workshop activity. And over 1,200 of you um, participated and took part in that. And I'm reliably informed we have beaten one world record 
Uh, and this really amused me. We've beaten one world record for overclocking. So I'm going, oh, good. <laughs> for those like me who were probably the wrong generation, I had to go and find out what that was. And it's um, interesting. Gamers, what can we say about gamers, apart from my children, um, who are probably mostly your age, um, are always uh, attached to, to one device or another. And it comes as no surprise that all of you playing on Gran Turismo raced a, uh, a distance that is the equivalent of circumnavigating the globe twice in four days. And, you know, we're at the O2, very famous now for its entertainment, and sure, Beyonce's been on this stage, you know, Lady Gaga's been on this stage, even Barbara Streisand's been on this stage, but never before, it is a world first, have we had eight stages in the arena where we've had 500 hours of content um, with over 200 speakers. So that's, that's another first. And without wishing to lower the tone by referring to a politician, even as the UK Chancellor of the Exchequer commented on Wednesday, Campus Party is great and we need to do more across the country, across Europe, in order to encourage, motivate and inspire young people. And I couldn't agree more, we need to do a lot more of it. The opportunities, and you've heard this from everybody, and people far more qualified than myself, are endless. Um, and talking to my own kids about their opportunities, their future, you know, th the world is different, uh, and you can create your own businesses. And I think what I've heard, <coughs> excuse me, a lot during the week, and the advice that I will certainly be giving to others, is it is the time to move fast. It is the time to break things. It is the time to take risks uh, and to think bigger. Uh, and another really important point is you know, go with that, don't be worried about failure. And I'm sure all of you probably came with that mentality, but we'll certainly leave with it. So from my point of view, and in closing out Campus Party this year, I suppose it leaves me to say uh, some huge and, and heartfelt thanks to a whole host of, of people that together make Campus Party what it is and such a success. My first thanks goes to you guys, the Campus Heroes. Um, without you being prepared to have long bus rides, make your own way here, put up with camping, um, without you being here, connected, engaged, there wouldn't be Campus Party. So my first thanks is to all of you. Secondly, and I have to say, in putting on something like this, um, I have to say a huge thanks to our sponsors. Um, a lot of companies, um, and too many to mention, um, have helped create the success that we've had this week. And just to single out a few, I would like to think, and in the centre, uh, I would like to thank Sony. I would like to thank uh, Cisco for all of the networking equipment. I would like to thank uh, the UK government. I would like to thank Farwa, who were up here giving prizes shortly, Microsoft, uh, BlackBerry, and Barclays. So a huge thanks to all the sponsors. The next, oh, there's only two more. The next thanks must go to the speakers. Um, we were very fortunate, uh, and you were a very powerful audience. It's amazing, you know, when you talk to people who normally charge a fortune to come and speak, <clears throat> when they're talking to a young audience, when they're talking to the Campus Zeros, actually they make the time and they waive their, their costs. And they put something back into society by sharing their experiences, young or old. And we've had a massive range of speakers. We've had world-class speakers who have literally come from across the world to address you. I hope you've enjoyed that. And my big thanks to all of them for sharing their experiences with you. And lastly, from my point of view, <coughs> the thanks go 
to the team that enabled this, um, and there's been a large team that have worked all hours, not just during this week, uh, but for many weeks, uh, to make this happen. <clears throat> there's far too many to mention uh, by name, so forgive me, um, but I'd like to thank uh, our events team for, for their work, our media teams, our social media teams, the Think Big team for all of the web making activity, the Talentum team for the marketplace, and our Wira teams and Wira companies for being here and sharing their experiences. Uh, so a huge thanks to all of those. But I do want to single out um, one person. She's had to uh, live, sleep, and breathe Campus Party from the first conversations I had with her about 16 weeks ago. So uh, we, we like a challenge, so we made it quite short time frame. Um, and she accepted the role to be the project manager, to operate, to make sure the whole thing worked, working with all of the teams. Uh, and sooner or later, the buck has to stop somewhere. And that was with Holly, Holly Marshall. So hopefully Holly is in the audience. And if she is, Holly, are you here? Oh, Holly, I see a little. Holly, can you come on the stage, please? more than anybody deserves to be brought on stage. It's also my payback when she said, oh, Richard, you can close campus party. So the, yeah, there's no such thing as a free, free lunch. Um, I hope you've all had great fun. I hope you have made those collisions. I hope you have created things. I hope you have made those connections. Um, I wish you all very safe travels back. I understand some of the buses are leaving at a very antisocial hour tomorrow morning. Um, but hopefully you all get home to where you started from safely. I look forward to sharing with you all details on um, where and when Campus Party Europe uh, for 2014 will take place. So we will be doing that. And on that note, enough of me. I think uh, what better way to close Campus Party uh, Europe from London in 2013 than by showing you and taking a look um, in a very short video at what a fantastic week it was. So thank you very much indeed. Obrigado.